Hello YouTube, this is EDOC 2020, and there's an event in like, retro technology YouTube circles called DOSember, which is celebrating MS-DOS everything in the month of December. And I have my own thing to contribute. In fact, it's literally little. The Hewlett Packard 100 LX Palm Top. See you on the other side of the break. So what is the HP Palm Top? Well, the simple answer is a computer that fits in the palm of your hand. Just like a laptop fits on a lap, and a desktop fits on a desk. And I forgot to do a size comparison of this palm top. This is very small, I forget the measurements, but for scale, here is a regular three and a half inch floppy disk. You can see it's just about the same size that way. Yet this is a whole computer that fits in your hand. Let's take a closer look at the palm top. Fortunately my unit isn't the best example because the hinge is in a state of disrepair, but it's fine otherwise. So let's start with the sides. On the left, probably don't know how well you can see, there's a PCMCIA slot. On the front, there's just an eject button for the PCMCIA. On the right, there's a backup battery and infrared port, as well as a serial port and power port. And on the back, have battery compartment. This runs on two AA batteries. And if you insert rechargeables, it can also recharge them. Okay. Now, if we open up the palm top, you can see where all the fun happens. And once again, hinge is annoying. Okay, the HP 100 and 200 LX have the same hardware, which includes a 640 by 200 pixel monochrome display, which is an LCD, which is not backlit, but it is very sharp if you get the lighting right. You have a keyboard. One moment, please, we can get a closer look. We have a keyboard. It's a very shrunken down layout, but it has you know, all your letter keys and numbers. But you need mul but you need special combinations to achieve many of the other functions. Powering the palm top is the so-called Hornet chip, which sports a 186 CPU and a CGA compatible display controller. The CPU runs at a stock speed of about 8 megahertz. And for memory, the different versions of the palm tops have different amounts of RAM. This is mine is a two megabyte model. So this has two megabytes of RAM. Now, if you know, 186 only has a 20-bit address space, so you can't use 
a whole two megabytes of RAM. So this unit has 640k available for DOS and the rest is used as storage. This has no um, true non-volatile storage. It just has battery-backed RAM, kind of like a Palm Pilot. Of course, this also has PCMCIA slot for expansion. Mine came with a 10 megabyte PCMCI memory card, official HP branded. If we look, you can see this is made by SunDisk. That name seems a bit weird to you. Um, a few years later, they changed their name to SanDisk, which we all know today. And why isn't this going? Oh, there we go. So. All of this time, and I haven't talked about DOS yet. This unit is mostly XT compatible with, you know, a few variations, mostly due to the lack of actual disks and everything. So, where does DOS come in? This unit has MS DOS 5 on ROM as well as Lotus 1, 2, 3 and a whole suite of HP applications. Let's start by turning on the unit now. So this normally just runs in sleep mode so when you turn it on it's ready to go right away. So when you first start it First, it's a warning because the backup battery is low. Then we're at this, um, what is it, like the landing screen or the top card, I believe it's called. So this is basically the home of HP's special environment for this. I'll zoom in a bit so you can see a bit better. So these buttons are the application hotkeys. Each one launches one of the HP applications. So this has you know, your basic organizer PDA type of applications like you know calendar, you know, like contact list, memos, calculator. Right, let's just go to the memo. So this is basically a text editor. Hello world, exclamation point. You know, and you have, you know, pull down menus, you can use with the keyboard. You can save the files. Oops, wrong key. This is you know, obviously a small keyboard. Saving to the a drive, which is the memory card. Let's call this test.txt. And, you know, I can quit out of that. And, you know, I can also quit out of the setup program. Now we're back at the top card. Also, let's see. You know, file management program. You can go in and you know, look at your files and you know, because this is a DOS thing, you know, I basically need to show you at least a game or two. I have Alley Cat installed on this, you know, which is a game for CGA systems. You just hit enter and it will run it. And I am 
Uh, let's just say, not good at this. And I died. You can hear this has PC speaker sound. And it's game over. And fortunately, with this game, you can't exit, you need to reboot. So, Control Alt Delete. Now, this does a full reboot. It takes a few seconds, but it boots automatically back into the HP program. But if we want to, we can go and actually exit from the HP system to go to plain DOS. And, you know, that way you get more memory in everything. Okay. Now that we're in plain DOS, there's one relatively you know, like RAM intensive program we can run which um, you probably use a newer version of this program every day. We can load Windows 3.0 in real mode. And uh, you'll notice the screen colors are backwards. We can press the on and slash keys to go to normal colors. And this is basically Windows 3 system now that's slow and doesn't have a mouse. But So I have installed the Windows Entertainment Pack, which has Minesweeper. Take a while to load, but here is Minesweeper. Of course, we don't have a mouse, so we can't play, but we can use other Windows programs. Like we can play built-in reversey, which does support playing with the keyboard. And you know, I'm not very good. But, uh, there's reversey. You can see this runs Windows 3.0. We can even, you know, we can open right. And we can type. can type something. Um, you know, this is definitely not the easiest thing to use. But, you know, this is fully functional Windows 3.0 system. not save. And, you know, we also have paintbrush, predecessor to paint, and maximize that. And so we can use this to view pictures. So we can view the old chest picture, like this. Come on. Yes, this 8 megahertz processor is not the fastest in the world. There is a procedure to overclock it by changing the crystal. I haven't done that. No. There's Windows 3.0 paintbrush. And, uh, let's get out of that now. Take 100 to get back into the HP environment. And, um, well, I guess that's all I have today.
If you liked this video, be sure to like and subscribe. You can leave a comment. Share this video with your friends. See you later. Goodbye.